Hey, what is up guys, I'm KBHD here, and welcome to your first look at the retail shipping packages for the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 8 Plus. So these things are about to start shipping, and these are the boxes. You can see uh, the little glass details on the front, and there's only three colors of this phone right off the bat. Silver, which we have, this new gold, which we'll get into, and space gray. Uh, no red and no jet black, at least this time around for right now. But the small detail you may have noticed, uh, the box for this new gold colored iPhone, which I'll call it like a blush gold, is actually not white. It's an off-white, like the cream color on the back of the phone. So the more you know. But either way, let's dig into the iPhone 8 first. So it's a pure white box and you get your paperwork up top above the phone and then the iPhone itself. So pretty much identical to last year. So here's the glass-backed wireless charging iPhone in all its moderately new glory. Uh, but we'll put that to the side for a second to look at the accessories it comes with, which, surprise, are exactly the same as last year. I swear this is an iPhone 7S. A wall adapter, ear pods, the lightning audio dongle, and your lightning charging cable. Okay, great, so let's look at this, this new colored phone. This new gold for the iPhone 8 Plus in its cream-colored box and copper-colored accents and all that, Again, has the paperwork on the top, which is actually still white, so not cream. Uh, hopefully you can see that. It's kind of hard to show on camera. But then of course you get the iPhone itself. White front again. Uh, both these lighter colored phones have the white front. Only the space gray iPhone 8 has the black front bezels. So long story short, uh, these both look very familiar because they're super similar to last year in design. The glass back is new, obviously, but you have identical dimensions to iPhone 7, so any cases you have from that phone will also work with these. And most of the changes are on the inside in the spec bump, so let's fire this one up. I actually went through the setup process for iOS 11, and it was mostly the same with putting in my SIM card and signing into Wi-Fi and Apple's accounts and all stuff like that. The one thing that was new was True Tone. So you can choose now to turn right on the True Tone color display right out the box or not, which is pretty cool. Of course, you can always adjust that later. So I flew through everything, and once I finished, one of the first apps I wanted to take a look at, like last year, was Geekbench. Uh, and Geekbench 4 here says iPhone 8 Plus with the A11 Bionic chip has three gigs of RAM again, compared to the six or eight gigs that we're seeing in some Android phones now. But we did that CPU benchmark, and it did pretty damn well, as you can see. So it comes out with a comparable multi-core score to the Snapdragon 835 in this Note 8, but a massive single core score, which is awesome for everyday activities like dinking around the user interface and quick animations and things like that. So that's good to see. And you also might notice the iPhone's display looking a little warmer here. Here is the toggle for the True Tone display responsible for that on iPhone 8. Uh, me flipping the switch here doesn't make a huge difference on the camera since my video lighting is pretty much on point but the True Tone will make a bigger difference in places like outdoors or with more harsh lighting, so that's something we'll explore more in the full review. But that's pretty much what's new with the iPhone 8 first experience. I think the best way to appreciate the slightly new design is to have it next to the same color iPhone 7, which you can see had, since it's metal, like a bit more texture to the aluminum back. You can actually feel the cutout for the Apple logo where on the iPhone 8, this new one, it's more under the glass, so you can't feel it by running your finger over it. And also there's no FCC markings on the bottom of the new iPhone, which is why it looks cleaner. And it's just a bit heavier feeling because glass is, after all, a heavier material than metal. But yeah, I guess what I'm really trying to figure out is, is this new gold a good color? I mean, I mentioned it in one of the previous videos, the gold kind of looks, I think pale in the middle is the word. The glass to me, it kind of looks a little bit light, like the rails on the side where it's still metal. I definitely kind of like that. It's a gold metal. The ring around the home button and the ring around the camera cutout, it's a new look. But then the middle of the back just looks so sandy. I don't know. I think I would stick with the silver or space gray on this one. But that's up to you. Let me know what you think. Full review is coming soon, and also iPhone 10 coverage when that's available. But until then, hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.